Oh my god. Oh no. Oh my god. You're watching Throttle House. I'm Thomas. And I'm James. And James and I were talking the other day, and he asked me what I thought was the most ridiculous example of automotive excess. The biggest example of showing off in the world. What's the gold flake tomahawk steak with wheels? And I said it's not going to be something like a McLaren P1 or a classic Ferrari, because those are actually usable. It has to be something that's completely stupid and the only reason it exists is for showing off. So I offered up this, the Brabus 6x6. It costs millions of dollars, millions of dollars. It has six wheels. And since this is the carbon fiber one, it's literally one of two in the world, which means that it's rare, it's stupid, it's ridiculous, and it's kind of crap to drive, as I'll show you in a minute. That makes this easily the most insane example of automotive excess that I could possibly think of. Until James showed up in that thing. This is also a 6x6, but it's a custom-built Mega Raptor. And if you can get past the sound that the, that the drive line's making, when you go off throttle after 60 kilometers an hour, then you'll realize that the main goal of this vehicle is to show off. The rest of it is a dumpster fire. Okay, maybe it's not all bad. At least it has a completely rebuilt 6.7 litre power stroke turbo diesel, redone with larger turbos and an exhaust, with a programmer that makes it adjustable to a thousand horsepower. It is a moving monster of excess that started its life as a Ford F350, and then got transformed into a Mega Raptor by the company Megarex. And then it went completely rogue and was transformed once again by an independent shop here in Ontario into the 6x6 you see today. It is a Franken truck that has so far cost about 400,000 Canadian dollars. Yeah, so James's truck appears to be excessive, but so is a twin turbo V8 Brabus six wheel 700 horsepower G Wagon and mine wasn't put together in a small Ontario town. It was designed and constructed in Germany, a land of pure commitment to a task. And the task in question is stomping over everything in its path. They may have designed this to cover treacherous ground or surf sand dunes, but today I'm going to prove that it's the most ridiculous show-off vehicle you can own. And then I'm gonna challenge James to a little race. And if you're new to Throttle House, we do car reviews, track tests, and quite a lot of messing about. So subscribe, hit the bell. <laughs> okay, now this is based off the old G-Wagon. So it's got solid axles, three of them, and it has five locking differentials and three buttons to operate them. I don't know how, if anyone can tell me how that works, I'll give you a crisp high five. But otherwise, this isn't as kind of new and fresh feeling as the new G-Wagon, which I believe they're doing a Brabus 6x6 of. But uh, this does feel intentional. It does feel like it's made to do what it's doing. And that is not driving anywhere near any sort of off-road stuff, which is what they recommend you do with it. It's for cruising around on smooth roads and looking like a bad apple. Okay, Thomas may have red carbon fiber and fancy AMG stuff, but the Mega Raptor is itself a cocktail of suspension upgrades, fiberglass, and just sheer mass. And just when I thought I was getting a chance to stretch its legs on some back roads, Thomas, who was leading the way to the drag strip, insisted that he had a shortcut.
All right, Thomas, why are we downtown? This is ridiculous. The car I'm in, or truck, needs open spaces. The, these are pretty open. These are Canadian roads, okay? This is a typical Canadian town. All right, I just, this is, we, this is how we get there. I, we, what do you want me to say? I guess if, you, if you're going to show off somewhere, you need promenades, and that's never going to be that wide. This is it. This is, this is as promenade as it gets in, in little old Canada. Well, you've got it easy. I'm sitting here. I, you know, I'm comfortable. I've got these Ford seats, but I have no visibility in the rear. There's a giant tire. And this thing is as wide as a lane, like fully as wide as a lane. It looks so ridiculous in my rear view mirror, I'm telling you. Yeah, but every, this is small town Canada. Here, everyone thinks I'm a legend and you're the posh bastard in his Brabus. Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. I didn't think about that. Um, yeah, this is a, this is a, this is a foreign car, you know what I'm saying? Right, so my, this vehicle has a shudder as you, as you accelerate away. This is the shudder. Ready? Ready? Oh, oh, I hit the curb. I hit the curb. <laughs> Street. Feel that shudder? Oh! You know, there are vehicles that have similar weight and power to this. The Hummer EV, for example, that manages to hide its size and it's more agile than you would expect. This is the complete opposite of that. Yeah, I know. It's great. <laughs> oh, this looks like a... This is... Yeah, this is, this is the right way for sure. I'm going down here. Mate, I can't fit down there. <laughs> This isn't, this isn't feel, see what trucks are crazy, it's Bully James. This thing feels like a little Fiat 500 in the city, you know? Am I gonna make that? Oh, that's close. And now I'm blocking all the traffic. Sorry, everyone. Oh, do I risk it? Do I risk it? Oh, that felt very close. Whew. I'm showing off. I'm showing off. Hello, fellas. All right. See, Thomas didn't get that attention. The Mega Raptor is a winner. It's popular with the, with the shirtless folk. See, Thomas, you might be able to turn corners, but you haven't got the topless men of rural Ontario coming out of the woodwork to take photos of you and give you a thumbs up. I saw that. You're a very popular lad around here. It's like Bumble in real life. Tinder. One of them. I wouldn't know. Is there is there a version of those for rural Ontario men? I think they still use Craigslist. Thomas, you're not thinking about going in that gate. That's, this is clearly not the way to the track. No, this is... This is the only way, I'm sorry. I, you obviously don't remember. You're so comfortable in your Toyota Century all the time. You know, the, the miles just just whisk by. But uh, this is what it's... This is the trip. This is how it works every time. This is even a challenge for me, this one. This is the way to A&W. Well, don't you want food? Is that what the 10 piece is for, on your license plate? No, that actually stands for the, the 10 piece uh, KFC bucket. Uh, the owner is a man of exquisite world class taste. That's bloody close. <laughs> Okay, in my mirrors, that looked like I hit that thing, but I don't think I did. But that was close. That was close. All right. All right, Thomas, enough of these anxiety-inducing corners. This is to go to promenades and show off. I want to go past, there's a restaurant nearby with loads of people in the cafe, and I want to see who gets more looks because that is what this is about. Everyone is looking at these. Everyone is, their minds are blown. 
That, there's that woman just shook her head. Complete disapproval from her. Not happy. She's not even my mum, and she doesn't approve of this decision. All right, Thomas, real show-offs aren't afraid to s slowly s s stroll past the, the, you know, the promenade, the people. So we're going to see some. Yeah, maybe even give them a bit of a rev. Rev? I can do that. I can do that. I can't. Can I do that? Oh, you got a thumbs up. You got a thumbs up. Come on, what have I got? Give me a thumbs up. Where's my thumbs up? No, I didn't. Okay, I, he just nodded at me. He was disgusted and repulsed with your. <laughs> okay, can we can we just head to the to the track now, please? I need some space. Yeah. All right. Thanks for that. Oh yeah, yeah you're welcome. Superior turning radius. This suits you. Whoa. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> I'm the same size as one of those wheels. This uh, is ridiculous, James. This is a ridiculous object. That's the whole point of it. No, I know. The whole point. I mean, I said I was going to bring this thing out to prove a point, and then you you show up and. <sighs> yeah. Okay, what is this thing? You so it's an F350. It's a converted F350. Nuts power. Yeah different suspension and the owner has opted for ridiculous wheels on this. So they've, they've converted it into a six by six. I noticed that there's, there's six wheels. I have a yeah. question. Um, how many miles were on the F-350 before they started the build? I think about 300,000 kilometers is what it's showing. And it's a new build. It's also showing in the chassis. Yeah, it's so quite rusty. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> and hundreds of thousands of dollars poured into it. You'd wonder why maybe you didn't go with a newer one. Hey, you get what you can you, get you these get what days. You get. Trucks are hard to get now. So a lot of that money has gone into these wheel tires. Wheels, wheels tires combos. Wheels tires combos? Wheels tires combos. I used um. to work at a fast food restaurant. Um, <laughs> so these are 605 pounds each. Whoa. So there's seven of them, because there's the one on the back. Oh, right. Which can only be moved by what? Or by f seven men. Is that an actual statistic? What if it's five very strong? I don't know, 600, strong... well, they just hurt their backs. How much do they weigh each? 600? 600 pounds. That's a lot. And how much but it has a pump? hydraulic lift. It has a button inside that, oh, that lifts that up. Yeah, oh yeah. my God, that's really um, But yeah, so that's 4,200 pounds in weight of wheels and tire alone. So generally, we like to reduce unsprung mass, no, you know? No, no, no. Not today. This, Not is, today. this is excess, this is. Um, how much do they cost? So they're about $5,000 that's cheap. You know, per, on, per wheel. And then yeah. you can't even say per, per wheel. You can't even say per corner. Yeah, because there's no, there's six of them. Um, but, but, <laughs> but, but they're military grade. So there's a lot of military stuff going on here. Okay. That, that's why it's so insane. Okay. So these are made to withstand. There's a, there's a military run flat inside. And it's right. made to withstand like bullets slash landmines. So if this. Oh, well, that's good. Because yeah. you go over a couple landmines. This... Then you get to live. Yeah, well. Oh, the no, tires that, will. Yeah, yeah, the whole truck blows up. It will go. Pff. Yes. But <laughs> these wheels rough. are like cockroaches. They'll be around forever. <laughs> oh, it's so ridiculous. Um, but yeah, so there's a lot of custom stuff going on. Everything you see so it says six by six is custom made by the shop. Look at this thing. Look at that. Ignore the rattle. Yeah, we'll just get this little piece of trim there. Well, it's just new. It's new. It's, it's ju literally just been unveiled. I see. Because it's one of one, remember? That's why it's, it's, one more, of one it's more special indeed. than that. That's, um, I see we're still running the leaf spring in the back. That's good. Yeah, well, this does use a lot of the original parts. So they've taken the, the axle that was on the rear and moved it to the very rear. And then they've put a military axle in the middle. Ah, uh, military, of course. Military, yeah, military. Um, good. Yes. It looks really... Well, yep. it's a specialized vehicle. I asked the owner, I said, you know, this seems really specialized. I, I feel yeah. like I'm having trouble understanding it. What's it for? And he said, because it's badass. Oh, that was his answer? Yeah. So he, he, he hasn't upgraded the interior he's yet. He's about to reupholster the whole interior in okay. bright blue. This is with with captain's chairs and everything. Oh wow, yeah. yeah. Okay. So I yeah. remember what Fords looked like ten years ago. Now it's not great, but <laughs> he's got custom buttons down there. So he's got a, you see the middle finger button. What's that do? That's a, a light in the back that blinds the person behind you if they're tailgating you. And that one there. Um, Oh, winch power, winch like power. winch power. But for, to do the, that's the, for this, yeah. Yeah. I understand. 
Uh, yeah, no, this is uh, this is real janky. I like it. Um, <laughs> the, the ca this cab is, this bed is, is huge. It's, it's uh, multiple beds put I together. I saw you turn it around. It is massive. Yeah, multiple beds put together and... Uh, okay. Yeah, you know, military. Military, yeah. It, I mean, yeah, it's nuts. It's, it's wide, it's huge. You see my Brabus? This is excess. This Look at this. This seems composed. Is it in terms of price? Millions of dollars, James. This cost. But that's because it's millions. Uh, but that's for, this stuff, isn't it? Yeah. So this is the this is the one of two red carbon fiber Brabus. Okay. Extra special. That yeah. sounds good. Um, anyway, <laughs> this is I think a ridiculously cool looking car, and visibility is weirdly good. I'll have you know. How, uh, how's yours? Uh, well, I, so you have a backup camera. I do. I got a backup tire. You can't see anything, can you? No, and it, <laughs> but it is also a backup tire for when I pop a tire. Which will never happen, because land my survivals. Look at this. Wow, that's red. Isn't this red? <laughs> <laughs> that's the word that I have as well. Yeah, um, and yeah. there's red carbon fiber going on here as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Brabus did the interior, got the, all the leather upholstery, it says Brabus on the seats, and there is a Alcantara Starry Night headliner, like a Rolls Royce. Y yeah, okay, yeah. And you uh, can control it with an app. And there's all switches up there. Yep, those switches. Yep. They, they, they don't do anything? Uh, well, they switch. But I don't think they're, they're not they're plugged into anything on this one. Well, it could be. So they're for nothing. So you, so you do get some stupid points there. Yeah, that's pretty stupid, right? That's what you want. Yeah. And I've got like kind of like a roll bar thing. Um, I have five locking differentials. I've probably already said that a couple what? times. Uh, but I've got five locking differentials in this and three buttons to this, control them. This, um, this is a custom made piece that was melded together too. Okay. Yeah, you, 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 you win on ridiculousness. I'll I got a clamshell hood. Oh, really? like that, yeah. That's kind of neat. Takes two men. <laughs> I mean, I think there's, there's so many men involved in this. Is everything takes a it's couple man. men. It's a man. It's a man. It's a man collector. Can we go do a race now? Because, the, because the, the, the loser of this race is actually the winner. Let me right? just show you. Oh, oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, just before you do that, just I want you to know the build quality you're going up against here. Okay. Right. Because once I plug this in. <laughs> <laughs> because look, you can see it's fed through here. Yeah. Do you, yeah, do you yeah. see this here? Yeah. Just, uh, you know, I can see that it's just pinched between the plates of steel. That was by right, design. Right, because in a pinch, it will. It's a piece of crap. Okay. All right, so this is an exercise in stupidity, uh, but then so has the whole day been. Um, I, I'm probably going to lose this because even though apparently I've got almost a thousand horsepower and I've switched this to power level performance now so it should unlock everything I've got um, that Brabus is 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 quite a bit lighter and uh, it's probably going to destroy me it certainly sounds better uh, also this car with these wheels sorry this truck I don't you can't call this a car obviously um, this behemoth has tires that aren't supposed to go faster than 90 kilometers an hour so I'm about to go way past that and that's really dumb all right here we go it's go time He's playing with those toggle switches, isn't he? They're, they're not even functional right now. They can be, but they're not. He's such a child. You uh, nervous over there, buddy? Listen, I got nothing. What's the max speed rating of those military spec tires you got there? 90, yeah, 90 kilometers an hour. Okay. How many horsepower do you have? Officially, I think the, the answer to that is unknown slash modifiable with this gauge um, but allegedly just under a thousand horsepower okay so just under a thousand horsepower and a quarter mile you, I'm sure you'll you'll stay within the safe speed rating of those tires you'll be fine stupid this is Utterly terrifying. Oh wow, this thing's quick. These are so evenly matched. Oh, oh, it's making noises. It's making noises. Oh, that's 130. Oh my 
at speed that's a lot of noises oh my god just go in a straight line <laughs> that was bloody close that was really close you were flooring it i was flat out so maybe this thing this thing just hides at speed maybe it's it got some it didn't feel that quick wow i won that though you did i'm so sorry that was scary at the end that, no, like the, these things start to unsettle. Oh and the noises, God. everything, the drive line. <laughs> like, it was just the whole car was just going, stop! <laughs> um, I can't believe how close that was. This whole day, I was convinced that come the drag race, I would get slaughtered. Well, I mean, still, it wasn't by much, but you did lose, therefore, yours is the stupidest. Damn. Right? But that's so a good thing. That means you win. Yeah. Because it's the most showy offy vehicle ever made. Yes. It, it, it's sub style over substance in Congratulations. every single way. I win the stupid contest? You win the stupid contest. That's the first thing I've ever won in my life. Hey, you get an attendance award. Yeah. That's not bad, that. This is actually, a, this is quite, I like this thing. I it's dig like, it. The really sounds do. it's making? Oh. Yeah, no, it's like the side pipes. Oh man, it's really cool. And it's, it's really, really well made too, except for this one issue here. I just wanted to... Well, my windows worked, so... Yeah, my window worked. In fact, the whole vehicle worked perfectly all day long. I realized I'd actually been imagining all of the driving issues and my journey home was bliss. Nothing went wrong at all. Uh, so this is me on the side of the highway um, where it says emergency parking. I'm in the, uh, the Mega Raptor and I've broken down. Um, the rev started jumping really high. The car dropped all its power. The kilometers per hour started dropping as fast as it accelerates. And um, yeah, it's so weird as well because this car's been so good all day. No, no mechanical issues, no sounds. There's been making, no smells. It's just been, it's just been a, pe been a peach. Just a peach. Now it's dead. So yeah, the transmission exploded. And even if you can forgive that, and the shaking steering wheel on the highway, and the wonky electronics, and the driveline sounds, at least it can be towed by a completely conventional tow truck that I didn't have to wait hours for. The Brabus, on the other hand, also broke down a little bit on the way home. Yeah, it cut power whenever you turn the steering wheel, but hey, at least it got home under its own steam. Yeah, apparently our day of cruising around town slowly and doing one drag race proved too much for these kings of overindulgence. Fortunately, the owner, who owns both of these vehicles, was very gracious and took it in stride. A big thank you to him for facilitating the day. So, in a world of the most stupid, over-the-top, showy-offy vehicles we've ever come across, that wonderfully under-engineered thing that was once a Ford takes the win. Proving that... Well, actually, I don't know what we proved. But uh, these trucks sure are cool, right? Right? Right?